how are you? Welcome to this week's vlog. It is Friday. It is about 11 o'clock. I have spent all morning on conference calls for something really exciting and I can't say what it is, nor do I know if it'll even go through because things fall through all the time in the acting world, but please pray because if it goes through, it would be very fun and exciting and maybe game changing, maybe. Uh, today I'm wearing my favorite shirt in these shorts <laughs> and white shoes. And tonight we are having some friends over. My coworker and her husband, we basically are trying to set up our husbands to be best friends because we think that they would be great friends and they don't know each other yet. So I'm gonna go run out and get some groceries. I think I'm gonna do taco night tonight because nobody dislikes tacos. I'm thinking of doing like steak fajitas, chicken fajitas, and then like veggie fajitas with a side of like a cabbage slaw, beans, obviously chips and guac and I'm gonna try to make mango salsa again and chocolate cake. We have a really cool Mexican supermarket down the street. Like it's so cool and clean and modern and bright and beautiful and it's like my favorite store ever. So I'm gonna go there, see what I can find for taco night and then I wanna get the, the Trader Joe's fudgy quinoa chocolate cake. So I'll probably end up going to both places. It's fun, it'll be good. Let's go, let's go grocery shopping. Okay, I got some good staples that I can't get elsewhere, like fresh made tortillas, like still hot, fresh. The best corn chips, the best guac. I finally found canned mango, which I know is very off brand, but I'm trying to make this mango salsa, and last time I used fresh mango, and it just didn't taste the same as when we had it at a party, um, so I think they used canned. I think they used canned, so I'm gonna try it again. I don't have a recipe, I'm just trying it out. And I need to get the dessert stuff and the meat at Trader Joe's just because I don't, I feel like Trader Joe's might be cheaper with meat. Okay, my kitchen's a wreck, but just figured I would give you a little update on what I'm doing. So, the fudge cake is baking away. I added chocolate chips. And then in here, the steak is marinating here. The chicken is marinating in there. I made a cabbage slaw. I made mango salsa. Now I'm gonna clean for a little bit and then prep cutting some vegetables. I'm going to grill on my like grill pan, zucchini and bell pepper. Maybe I won't grill the bell pepper. Maybe I'll just cook the bell pepper. But I'm gonna grill zucchini in case nobody wants meat as like a meatless option. And I think that's all I can do while the meat marinates. Closer to the time I'm gonna cook the meat, but I'm thinking about trying to keep it warm in the crock pot so that we don't have to eat right away. I'm worried that I might dry it out, so I don't know, TBD. So I got a big mess to finish cleaning up. Shark Tank. Welcome to the Shark Tank. Always in the background. That's how I learn many skills. Okay, I kinda cleaned, called my mom. Call your mom's kids. It's always good to do so. I wanna show you this fudge cake from Trader Joe's if you haven't seen it in a different vlog. Look at this bad boy. Oh, ho, ho, ho. And I got vegan vanilla ice cream to go with it or regular coffee ice cream to go with it. And this sounds weird, but I am marinating zucchini. I ran out of bowls, so I'm just marinating it in this pot to grill it later. Is it weird to marinate veggies? Probably. I don't really care though. And these are the tortillas that I got. You know like the nice, thick corn tortillas that you're almost like, oh no, are those flour? Got those. I am now starting to grill my marinated zucchini and squash. I never follow a recipe, I just do weird things on my own and pray it works out. It's working. Okay, finally finished everything. I'll show you what we got here. Here's the table. And I have to put this guac out, but I don't want it to brown until the last second. Salsa, mango salsa, two types of tortillas. I have to heat up these refried beans, and I have to heat up the bell pepper and onion. We have some taco toppings, including that. The coleslaw, and in here there's the grilled zucchini, the chicken, and the steak. Can't forget the cake later. Cutting board? When you invite over a bartender, yes, cutting board. She brings a setup <laughs> for cocktails. All of it. In a beach bag. In a beach bag. <laughs> this is Sir Nicholas. And he has a YouTube channel. Is it is it only sports? Mostly sports. Okay. Adventure. Okay, like travel. And eventually food and music, maybe. Okay. I will link your channel down below. Oh. Link in it below. So for all the husbands that are forced to watch my channel with their wives that I hear about. 
Here's a here's a more doodly channel you could go watch. That's for you guys. That's for you guys. I literally like like that. Wait, who does that? Oh, oh, what else? The world's prettiest mocktail. Also, she made matcha bar. Like what the heck? <laughs> okay, I'm excited. Well, it was a great night. I'm ready for bed. I'm gonna finish cleaning up the kitchen a little bit, but we have to leave at 7.30, and I just checked the weather for Brooks tournament tomorrow, and it's gonna be 105. Luckily, it's at a big league dreams, which has an inside seating area, so I'll probably be there all day. Good night, I'll see you in the morning. It's tournament day. Brooke is downstairs putting stuff in the car, and I heated him up a sandwich to go, and heated me up some egg bites to go, so should be good. Okay, let's go. Brooke just took me to a, is it called Winco or Wineco? Winco, which I'd never been to before. And it's kind of crazy because it has so much stuff. But I got coconut chips for 78 cents. Brick up little candy. <laughs> These were 30 cents. There's little sesame snaps. And we should, you want to try one with me? No. Okay. I also got kombucha and fruit and a little mama chia that was 98 cents, which I feel like is cheaper than most places. Well, I can't get these apart for the life of me, so I'm just gonna try a bite. <laughs> Not a fan. Okay guys, in case you didn't know, 105 degrees is really hot, especially when you get immediately into a hot car. But thanks to Brooke, they just won the game that would have kicked them out of the tournament because he hit two home runs. That means the next it's currently 340. The next game is at 650. We have over three hours to kill. So we're probably gonna go find food. I'm not hungry, but I just I just want to go somewhere with good AC. Also, Brooke ran into a fence again, this time with the side of his head, really hard. Not not a fence, um, a wall. A wall while trying to catch a ball and his head is like swelling outward, so. We just killed time in Target, small Target haul. I got this Rebel brand, Maca Cold Brew, my new favorite cleaner from Everspring. Secret now has aluminum free deodorant, so I'm excited to try it and I hope it works well. I'll let you know. It looks like it's gel, which is actually what I prefer. Nail polish for my toenails. These are not healthy at all, but I'm really excited to try these because I haven't had like just plain like kind of Ritz crackers since I was diagnosed with celiac. Now we're going to Red Robin. It's yeah. waiting for that. Okay, it's not a gel. It's like, like a gel colored stick. We decided to make a little pit stop at Home Goods because our bedside tables don't have drawers and we're kind of running out of space in our little baskets. We found these for 60 bucks. They're kind of cheap, but they have a drawer. I could still put a basket underneath it and they have all these plugs on them. And there's two of them. Should we do it? Sure. I guess if we see something better at the flea market tomorrow too, I can return it to the one right near us. But we can snag it while there's matching ones. We also are gonna go check out the Pasadena flea market tomorrow for the first time. I think that's a good game plan. And if we find something better, I'll return it, it's easy. Home from the tournament, and the first thing I could do was shower, like I, I had to. It is 1 a.m., 1 a.m., because they made it all the way to the championship, and Brooke hit the winning home run. Actually, I took an iPhone video of it. It's really crappy, but I'll just insert it here so you can see. But they won $1,500, which is super impressive. They're going to Worlds in Seattle, and so that will just help pay for their hotel and their flights and everything like that. Tomorrow, we're gonna go to the Pasadena Flea Market, which is just every second Sunday of the month. So I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Good morning. It is Sunday, and I'm so freaking excited to see what the heck the Pasadena Flea Market is. I read on their website they have food vendors, so we're taking the chance. We haven't eaten anything. It is noon, though. We woke up at about 11, and hoping that there's food there. I had a couple crackers, just because there might not be gluten-free food there, but Brooke has taken the full chance. Obviously, we won't have those tags, but I do like it, and I love the fact that I could charge so much in the bedside table. The drawer is pretty small, but it's better than nothing. I'm thinking of putting this bedside table underneath the fiddle leaf and then putting that bedside table next to the couch on this side so that when you're sitting there you could just put a drink down or whatever. It's really hot today so I'm wearing this dress that I wear in the winter a long time with a long sleeve 
turtleneck underneath, I wear it in the spring with a white t-shirt underneath, or I wear it in the summer with just a tank top underneath. I didn't want to style my hair yet today, so it's just in a low, kind of floofy bun. A hair scarf around it. Also, I've been wanting to show y'all something I got, but first, hey babe, what do you say my closet always smells like? Feet. Every time, because I have my own closet, if you haven't seen my house tour, it's that one. He uses this as his closet. I have my work shoes and everything in there, and every, we keep stuff in there, like first aid, uh, cleaning supplies, everything. And so whenever he goes in there, he's like, oh, it smells like feet. So <laughs> I got something. Okay, we're in my closet. I got this. Very backlit. This was gifted from Bu Bongiorno. Bongiorno. How would you say that B word? Bongiorno. I butchered that, I'm so sorry, but they gifted this to me and it's like a really nice diffuser. It came in this. And so I put it in my closet and now my closet smells way better than the rest of the house. Don't you think? Yeah. Problem solved. So thank you for sending that. You solved the biggest issue in our marriage. <laughs> okay, let's go to the flea market. I hope there's food. Also, if you've seen my Instagram, this tree has been sprouting little fruits for forever and every day it gets more and more like a nectarine. So I think it's a nectarine tree, which would be so exciting. Look at all these. There's so many. All right, got tickets. And this is freaking huge. Freaking huge. There's a little food court here. There's tamales, barbecue, crepes, teriyaki, carnitas, coffee. Mm. I already had two today though. Chicken tacos, watermelon lemonade, and brick out of pupusa. There's so much stuff. There's no way you could see all this in a day. Plus it's really hot. <laughs> we like this little floppy guy. You want him as a child? This is $5 and I can't tell if this would be flattering or if it would hug my hips too much, but I'm gonna buy it and try it. I love this, but it doesn't have a price. And it's similar to the one I got, but I'll go ask. Got some treasures. <laughs> gonna, gonna go try it on at home. We saw probably, what do you say, like a tenth of it maybe? Probably. And reached our max heat capacity. So we're gonna go find an iced beverage somewhere. Okay, this was the one that was $5 on a sale wrap. This is the side, the back. It's a little funkier than I would normally go for. It has this like, kind of slit. For $5, what do you think, babe? Mm -hmm. You think it's good? Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna like the $20 one more though. Okay, this is the last one. It's a small, but it's kind of big. A little bit. I belted it, but I might have it taken in. Which one's your favorite of the two dresses, babe? The other one. Really? The other one? Wow, $5 dress wins. Y'all let me know which one you like more though. Maybe I could have it taken in like that. And the donkey tail. What do you think we should name it? Wait, what's the donkey from Shrek? My oh, it's donkey. <laughs> should we name him Shrek? We just name him donkey. Okay, what's your favorite Shrek quote? That's a nice boulder. It's a nice boulder? According to Yelp, there's a new coffee shop in Pasadena, but it doesn't even show up on maps. So, we'll see if it's real. We found it! from avocado pits. Is this guilt free? All of my eco friends let me know, is this guilt free? <laughs> Look at how pretty. Today's my dad's birthday. So in honor of that, that is why I'm doing this, this selfless thing of eating leftover cake and ice cream and I'm gonna call him. Okay, y'all let me know. I got rid of the fig plant and I put donkey there, but then I felt like it needed something, so I put that print there. I can't decide if it's too big. Okay, church time. See you on the other side of Jesus. <laughs> That's weird. Good morning. It is good old Monday. 
Gotta love Mondays. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out exactly how I want my day to go. Last week I spent a lot of time on my social media job, so I'm feeling better about that. And I started parts of some videos last week that I need to do this week. So for one of my videos, I just need to film an intro and an outro, which is awesome. So I'm like not that stressed for a Monday, but I still want to be as productive as possible. So I'm going to order groceries, which this has now become the norm. <laughs> not that I need to justify it. I feel like, feel like I need to. I have noticed that when I order groceries, I end up spending less money because you can see your cart and your total before you order anything. So then I can go back and like delete things and I'm like, I don't really need that and that was $5 or whatever. Whereas when I go to the real store, I don't keep track of how much everything is and then I don't want to be that person in the line that's like, oh, actually, I don't want that anymore. Can you take that away? Because of that, I've been loving ordering it. I end up spending like $80 instead of like $100. So I also need to respond to DMs. I haven't responded to DMs in three days, which is kind of the new norm. Um, I've been doing it every like three to five days, so it doesn't take over my days every day. But I do like to try to keep up with it. And I'm at the point where it's not a ton, but I get like probably 30 or 40 requests a day. Um, so when I let it go three to five days, it kind of, it builds up. So I am thinking I'm gonna do that this morning as well. I asked Brooke what sounds good for lunch this week because I'm out of ideas. And he said pulled pork and I've never made pulled pork. So I'm gonna Google how to make pulled pork. Got stuff to do pulled pork up here and then coleslaw to go with it. Brooke has been loving these salads for lunch and I love them because they're $2.99. Some coffee, honey, cliff bars for Brooke, kind bars for me, Hillary's for me, eggs, arugula, bananas, LaCroix. I've never tried these before, edamame puffs. Avocado, mango, Annie's for Brooke and uh, simple mills for me and carrots to dip in hummus that I already have. You've heard the term predator, producer, editor, like the whole deal. Yeah. And that's obviously what you are. You're, you're the multi hyphenate. <laughs> but for something like this, what we really want to do is, is hit a, on your, your hobby being a baseball fan. You An unexpected call from my manager. And now I have another conference call with him tomorrow and some people. I can't say what's going on, but something exciting is in the works. Also though, in my world, things fall through all the time, all the time. I can't tell you how many times I've like booked things or started projects or whatever, and for one reason or another, things just stop, like budget or production or a company or anything. So um, I'm trying not to get excited, just to protect myself. If all goes to plan, something big is gonna happen in a couple months. That's all I'm gonna say about that. If it goes through, I will obviously update y'all, maybe even take you along for the process because you could help this turn into something even bigger if it does well. It's me being very cryptic. Okay, okay, wow, well, wow. Well. Okay, y'all, this is so weird. My subscription box video, you know, had like a normal amount of views for a long time, but then out of nowhere, it just went whoop. Like every day it's getting like another couple thousand views. And I don't know if it was like posted somewhere or if YouTube just started recommending it to people. Like the traffic sources says mostly browse features, which is weird, I've never had that happen before, but thank you YouTube, I guess. <laughs> Also, groceries just got here. Let's make some crock pot pulled pork. Okay, the lid for the crock pot is back there and stuck. <laughs> and I don't know how to get it out. So I'm gonna leave that problem for Brooke. There's his pulled pork with way too much liquid. Don't worry, I'll take it out before I pull it. Okay, I should move my body. So I am going to Work out at home, um, per usual. <laughs> that gym makes a lot of money off of me. Not really. My membership's like $30 a month, which for LA is pretty dang good, but I really go like once or twice a week now, which is not very often. It's fine. Home workouts are still workouts. Put a little bit of face mask on, this is it. You don't want to do a full face mask, but you do want to treat your zit. Okay, I'm going to shower, I'm going to get ready, and I'm going to film the intro and outro for one video, and then film the second half of another video. 
and then see what else I have time to do before work. Gotten socially acceptable, but I'm still in my sweatpants and mismatched socks. This is real life, y'all. But I have set up my station. I'm going to go ahead and start filming. It is currently about two o'clock and I have to start getting ready for work at like four o'clock. So I think that this is going to take up the majority of the rest of my day. So that being said, I need this camera. <laughs> I know a couple vlogs ago, we talked, or I guess it was last vlog, we talked about like what my vlogging schedule will look like just because I was kind of feeling discouraged that my vlogs weren't doing as well. The one that came out after that did better. Or I guess it was that one. I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to keep track. The most recent vlog did a little bit better and so that kind of gave me a little bit of hope that Maybe it was just the topic of some of my vlogs, not necessarily the vlog itself. But what I'm thinking about doing is for sure committing to vlogging one weekend because those are something fun, we go out, do whatever, and then one weekday so that you can see kind of my work process and the, the freelance life. And if anything else exciting goes on, I will add in a third day, but focusing on mostly two days for now so that there's a good variety and so that I can go more in depth on my days and that it will be a little bit of easier process until I get to quit some jobs. <laughs> So that's what I'm thinking about doing for now. I love you guys so much. Thank you for hanging out with me and I will see you in a video very soon. Have the